live from Denver. This is Fox 31 News at 9.30. National Police Week is underway in Washington, D.C., and Douglas County Deputy Zachary Parrish's name is now forever engraved on the wall of the National Law Enforcement Memorial. Hmm. Our Deborah Takahara is in the nation's capital with the story of the two Colorado men who have engraved every single name. 21,541 names engraved here. The engravers didn't want any recognition for their work. In fact, they're really difficult for me to track down. They just want the stories to be about the officers whose names are on this wall. It's ongoing every year. It's a yearly ritual that starts in late spring. Well, we just added uh, 360 names. Jim Lee and Kirk Bachman travel from Denver to Washington, D.C. It's just eye-hand coordination and, and time doing it and uh, watching what you're doing. They were the first and only engravers of the National Law Enforcement Memorial. When Kirk and I did it originally in 1991, was 17 lines and 12,500 people named on, on the walls. To date, they have stenciled and sandblasted 21,541 names of fallen officers into the blue-gray marble wall. It's a um, kick in the gut, every, every name that you hear about. Kirk mentioned to me this morning that uh, an officer was killed May 7th. Yes. Um, and that's a total of 54 for this year so far. Um, you know, it averages around 130 names a year, one every three days. It takes about 15 minutes per name. We're trying to be very careful. They've got it down to a science. You know, you really have one chance to do it right. Um, and so we take our time. Family members and other visitors watch, mesmerized by the skill and precision of the two craftsmen. I have had little children standing with their dad watch me put their mother's name in the memorial. I've had just the opposite. I've had people hug me. I've cried with them. Uh, it's really tough when you see the kids. And Colorado officers are etched in their memories. I always remember Lyle Wollers. He was shot and killed by two kids, I believe. He was a fly fisherman. And I always connected with him because, you know, I'm a, I'm a native Colorado and then I love to fish and it was so sad. They're all sad, but I, I kind of remember him. I certainly remember Parrish's name too. It's so recent, but, you know, he was the last day, December 31st. He was the very last officer killed, I believe, across the nation. Um, and so that just hit me. I went, oh. And Zach Parrish's name is on panel 31 West in line 31. They say it's not a job, but an honor. It's a great privilege to do the work. It does get me. The new names are dedicated each year during the National Police Week candlelight vigil. Bachman and Lee hope there will come a year when they don't have a single name to add. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be something special? The two were selected when the chairman of this memorial saw their work at the Vietnam Memorial. They have since retired, but they say their work here will continue. In Washington, D.C., Deborah Tagahara, Fox 31 News. Wow. So much emotion, so much raw emotion from those well, guys. Well, just the idea that there's a new name to be engraved every three, three days. Three days, he said. Yeah, and Ken said he's sat there with the child and the husband or the wife. I can't even imagine. Heartbreaking. I hope they're right. I hope one day that there are no, no names, names for them. Me too. All right, when you hear about identity,